Ah, uh, yes, Wobs, Captain Jeff the Pirate here, at share the service. And welcome to Captain Jeff Reviews and Questions Adventure Time. Today's episode, Jake the Brick. Now, this will be the uh, second to last episode in the official Cornucopia week. But for me, this will be episode four of, the, of my uh, five-part series. Like I said, I forgot to review the, f the one on the October the 28th. <sighs> now, once again, this be a very Jake-centric episode. I've noticed this for the last five episodes. I don't know what is going on here. I got no complaints against this, but uh, seriously, so, what, what, what's going on here? Uh, the episode begins with uh, Finn the human leaving home. Bimo gives him an apple and wishes him on his merry way. Finn travels a great and long and vast distance. Eventually, he comes to this run-down old shack, and in it is, well... Jake, who has taken the shape of a brick. To which he says, hello, Jake. So then he asks, how's this experiment going? Apparently, for a long while, Jake has always wanted to be a brick in a house right as it fall down. And boy, I tell you, this thing, it looked like it'd be ready to be falling over. So Finn wishes him the best of luck, and Jake's like, you're leaving? Aye, it takes me half a day to get here. So here's what. I'll leave this walkie-talkie so we can communicate with each other. So Finn just so Finn leaves and Jake goes back to being his uh, brick-like self. Now then, some time passes and Jake starts. He, I guess Jake is starting to go really crazy from boredom. I mean, who wouldn't? So he sees a bunny and he proceeds to do like a narration, like he be Gordon Freeman doing something for Animal Planet. No, it doesn't change. Doesn't change his voice. He just talks like his normal self. But uh, it just reminded me of that. So Finn is like, uh, "You realize we can hear you, right, uh, Jake?" Ah, no, no, I was just talking out loud. <laughs> ah, the dreaded hot mic. It giveth and it taketh away. So Finn shuts off the the calm, and Jake goes back to doing his narration about the trials and tribulations of a bunny living in the living in the land next to his uh, fallen down house. Little does he realize that Finn has turned on the speaker again, has taken it to a locale radio station. And proceeds to have uh, Starchy broadcast it to everyone in the land of Ooh. It's funny, because while the narration be going on, you see all the people listening. You see Rattleballs. You see the James Creature. You see Lemon Hope. You see Ice King, Marceline. You see everyone. And they all are be... They be hooked on Jake's tail. It'd be like a radio story. Radio drama, even. And it, it'd be getting very popular. He describes the events of how the bunny has to deal with the harsh elements of the storm. How, how deers are jerks. And how beavers are his friends. And how deer, the deer comes back to be a jerk yet again. And then, through action of the deer, once more shows his jerkery. And I don't know, I'm questioning if this is the same deer from earlier when uh, Jake lost his marbles. But uh, he didn't take off his hoofs and show fingers, so I don't know. Maybe just all deer are jerks in this show. Err. Alright, so then the deer commits another act of jerkery, only this time it helps benefit the bunny. So the deer leaves in defeat, and the bunny is happy that Hal has worked out with him. So the Jake steps out from the brick wall to celebrate the bunny, and uh, and then that's when it happens. That's when the house crumbles over. Obviously. I guess Jake unknowingly was actually helping keeping it up. He was the keystone. So anyway, he realizes through the bunny's experiences that he doesn't have to necessarily be a brick in a wall of a fallen down house. So he decides to come home. He radios Finn, who, dismiss, who dismisses Starchy and his equipment just to act like the microphone has been off this whole time and no one heard his epic tale. But I thought it was pretty funny. I mean, the whole kingdom was into it. There was, like, signs to say, I love bunny. I mean, there was even clothing. The princess was wearing an I love bunny hat. I mean, shirt. It, <sighs> I thought it was just funny. I mean, the story, it's about Jake, but he does a good job narrating someone else's work. So it's funny how the focus was uh, was about him, but not on him. I thought this was a pretty good episode, so I be given Jake the Brick a thumb and a half up. All right, there be only one more Adventure Time episode for this Cornucopia, and then the series returns to, like, a usual... Once a week, new special, new uh, fifteen-minute segment episode. So I'd be looking forward to seeing this last one, and then seeing how the new season kicks off, just going down week after week after week. 
So after being gone for so long, it's good to be back. Until next time, this will be Captain Jeff saying thank you for watching my review and question of Adventure Time. As always, arr, and happy 200th episode. Wait a minute, did I just say 200th episode? Aye lads, that's right. I have started checking the video counter. I have officially and finally hit the big 200 here on YouTube. Arr. I want to thank everyone who helped make this possible. I want to thank, uh, well, the real world for making so much stuff for me to review, both for me to review for this, uh, for my channel. Both for me and for the rest of my friends here. I want to thank, uh, I want to thank Test Subject 1337. I want to thank Lucha Man. I want to thank Pixelated Pete. And I want to thank, uh, Jack. Yes, I want to thank everyone who helped, uh, work on this channel. Also, I want to thank all of you, the viewers, the watchers, the subscribers, the followers, or anyone who just came here on a random whim. Also, I want to thank you for your, thank you for your feedback, for your comments, and for your continued support. Yes, so, I was excited when I hit the big 100, and I've done it again, so thank you very much, folks. Uh, I look forward to posting my next review, and, uh... Later on, who knows what else I'll be posting, but uh, keep tuned to this same channel. Until next time, for, for another, hopefully, 100 episodes, 200, and so on and so far, this be Captain Jeff saying, Arr! Have a nice day.